In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you one way to change the face color of a title from one color to another over time in the same clip. There are some times where you want to draw attention to the title, and this is one way to do that. Let me show you a short example, then we'll get back to our tutorial. In the tutorial you just saw, we have our video track on track number one. Now let's add a title on track number two. I'll click on the title room with a T, or I can use the F7 key. I'll take the My Title, drag it down to track number two. First thing I want to do is, in this case, I'm going to set my duration to three seconds. You can put it wherever you want. You'll see why I do three in a moment here. And I'll click on OK. Now we'll double click on it to get into our title designer and we want to change a few things about it. I'm going to change the uh, font to impact and let's change the color. Let's start out with a yellow and I'm going to put a border around it. I'm going to start out with a border that is uh, two units and let's do a black border. And then, of course, we want to change the text. Let's go uh, Summer Sale. And we'll modify the location of this. We'll put it in the upper left corner. OK, so now I have a starting title. I'll click on OK. Now, one thing I want to do is replace the color of the letters over time. There are a couple ways to do that. The easy way is simply to right click on my title and click copy press the end key to go to the end of the title and do control v keyboard combination to paste it and then on the second title all i need to do is double click on it move to the color pick another color of one of these uh, m m's here a little darker here and click on ok and then ok again now when i play my clip I will see it go from yellow to red and we'll just watch it'll just pop from one to the other now if I want something that's a bit more subtle I have to do something slightly different let's try that what I want to do is I want the last second of this three second leg of the color to slowly transform from one from yellow to red now what I have to do is I have to decide uh, where I'm going to put that. I'll put that at the two second mark. Now in my uh, seek by option, this button in the middle, the default is frame. I've turned it to second. I'll show you why that's going to be really easy here. So now with that there, I'm going to press my period key twice. That moves over two seconds into my project. Then I'll right click and add a timeline marker. I don't need a, a note to it. I'll just click OK. I'm going to repeat that a couple of times. Right click, do a timeline marker every two seconds just by pressing the period key uh, several times. We'll do one more here. By the way, this is just a nice technique if you want to sequence timeline markers and you know the number of seconds between them. I'll turn this back to frame mode here. So what I'm going to do is take my uh, second title. I can move this just so we can see it on the screen better. I'm going to take it, drop it down, and move it to my timeline marker. Not my playhead marker, my timeline marker. There we go. So now, two seconds into Summer Sale, the second Summer Sale will show up. The problem right now is because I have no transition, it will just overlay it. It will go from yellow directly to red. So I need to double click on it and get back into my title designer. Now I want to change the Effect tab in the upper left. I'll go to Starting Effect. Now, I have found that there are approximately eight or nine 
effects that will help me change the color that won't bring in anything external to the shape of the letters. One of them is Amplify Horizontal. And as I click on the, the preview button here, you can see we'll play it. You can see it starts in the middle and moves to the outside. That's not too bad. We'll do that again. That's one option. Another one that seems to work okay is Fade. I click down to my Fade transition here and play it. You'll see it go from yellow to red and it will fade. That's not too bad. Uh, another one that works is Glitter. Although there's a little bit of external uh, motion going on with Glitter. I probably wouldn't use that so much. Pop-up 1 is another one that seems to work in this kind of context. Let's click on that. We'll stop it and click again. Yellow to red, pop-up 1. That's pretty good. Uh, and, and then the wipe left and wipe right are also very effective here. Let's use wipe right. And there you see it moving across the screen. So if you want it to look like the letters are changing, not that they're being replaced from some other place uh, on your screen, just changing the color subtly, uh, that's a neat, nice way to do it. I'm going to leave it on wipe right for now. Click on OK. And so now I have my transition, and I go in here and I play a segment of my clip, and it starts out yellow, and I get a nice little wipe right to red. Uh, if I wanted uh, a third one, all I need to do right now then is uh, click on my second clip, right click and do a copy, move down to the next video track, and do a right click and paste. I can do paste and overwrite. I move it to my timeline marker and it's perfectly set. Then I double click on it and let's change the color again. Let's say this time we want to go with a blue, uh, one of the lighter blue uh, colors of M&Ms. Click on OK and OK again. And now it will change from our red color. I play it and it will transition to blue. And you can do this as long as you want. If you want the transition to be more subtle and less frequent, obviously, then you just increase the length of your uh, title, the duration of your title clips. If you want it faster, you can uh, make them a lot shorter, uh, just depending on your preference in that particular production. But it's not too difficult to use this method to change the color of text in CyberLink Pro Director.